Brum loved and trusted Jehovah God to us that he never did question his motives of whatever God did or said to him, he had a very strong faith in God, Jehovah called him my friend and it was in reading. You, O Israel, are my servant, you, O Jacob, whom I have chosen, the offspring of Abraham my friend. Isaiah 41 8. From the moment we are born to the moment we die, we need love. Humans need close and loving friendships, not just romantic love. But most of all, we need love from Jehovah. Many people do not believe that humans can have a close and loving friendship with God because He is invisible and almighty. But we know the truth. We know from the Bible that humans have become God's friends. We should learn from their examples. Why? Because friendship with God is the most important goal we can have in life. So let us consider the example of Abraham. Read James 2:23, and now let's start reading today Bible verses Genesis 15 1 to 21. Genesis 15 to 1 to 21. After these things Jehovah's word came to Abram in a vision do not be afraid, Abram, you have me a shield, your reward shall be very great. 2 And Abram said Lord Jehovah, what will you give me, seeing I am going away childless and the heir presumptive of my house is Damazek Eliezer. 3 And Abram said here you have given me no issue, and the son of my household is to succeed to my possessions. 4 But he found Jehovah's word coming to him this man shall not succeed you, the one who shall come out of your own body, he shall succeed you. 5 And he had him go outside, and said look at the sky, and count up the stars if you are able to, and he said to him such shall your descendants be. 6 And he believed Jehovah, and he credited it to him for righteousness. He said to him I am Jehovah, who brought you out of her of the Chaldeans to give you this country to possess. 8 And he said Lord Jehovah, by what shall I know that I am to possess it? 9 And he said to him Get me a three-year-old heifer and a three-year-old she-goat and a turtle dove and a squab. 10 And he got all these, and clove them through the middle and put each cleft opposite its mate, but did not cleave the birds. 11 And the vultures came down on the carcasses and Abram shooed them off. 12 And when the sun was about to set Abram fell into a trance and felt a terror, a great darkness falling upon him. 13 And he said to Abram You shall know that your descendants will be immigrants in a country not their own, and be enslaved to them, and they will be wearing them down. 400 years. But, with all, the nation they are enslaved to I will bring to justice, and after that they shall go out with great chattels. 15 But you yourself shall go to your fathers untroubled, you shall be buried in good old age. 16 And in the fourth generation they shall come back here. For the guilt of the Amorites is not complete as yet. 17 And when the sun had set and it was dark, there was a smoking firepot and a burning torch that passed between those pieces. 18 That day Jehovah made a covenant with Abram. To your descendants I give this country, from the river of Egypt to the great river, the river Euphrates, 19 the Canaanites and the Kensites and the Cadmonites 20 and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Ogres 21 and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Girgashites and the Jebusites.